Hello everyone, this is Payne again. This is gonna be uh, a <clears throat> another commentary, and I haven't done one in a while. I don't know how long, like a couple, like a week, week and a half. But it's gonna be a commentary on Medal of Honor. I bought it for the PC, and it kind of sucks. Ma mainly, I think that I can't play PC. I did good last night though, but for the most part, I really, really sucked. But yes. I've seen videos of other people that say that Men of Honor should have been better, it's glitchy, and it's true. So it makes sense what they just say. But uh, I found this article, I think it came out yesterday, or I don't know, I found it on yeah, February 13th, 2013. February, February 13th, 2013. I just, uh, I'm gonna put the, the link to the article in the description so you can check the specifics. Uh, it's uh, Men of Honor, not dead, we should have done better. Yeah, I'm just gonna read you the the article real quick. And I'll put it in the comments. This is by Brian Semple. I'm just gonna read it and, and uh, <clears throat> tell you my thoughts. I guess if they're being truthful. It's more than not shelved EA's Medal of Honor franchise. Scorned nothing but Purple Hearts during its contemporary reboot attempt. Trans. Positioning the series from the Second World War to the Global War on Terror, 2010 to Medal of Honor and 2012 Medal of Honor World Fighter, both released by Cartley Reviews and Sales, the former EA, to admit that it didn't meet the publisher's standards for quality. They later forced them to pull the series out of rotation altogether. So I think that's saying that uh, Yeah. So apparently they were gonna Oh like mess with ah, man I'm starting to mess with um Battlefield form. It's coming out. It's gonna keep coming out, right? It's good. I was saying that they, they were gonna take out Medal of Honor, but it was EA's fault because they rushed uh, developers and uh, they, didn't put, they didn't support the game when it launched. Just left it. Cause they had some really bad bugs. You just got spawned outside the map. That's fucking crazy. What the hell? How does that happen? You just get spawned outside the map. You just get spawned and fall down, fall like from the map. Whatever. The reason for its failure was we have established before. It's quite simple. Medal of Honor, Medal of Honor, has an exercise in eternity. EA created a hopeless inferior competitor to its own flagship shooter, Battlefield 3, using the same engine, the same time period, and less resources to produce two uninspiring single player campaigns and multiplayer that felt like a recycled only. One operator, protagonist, Bin Laden, killing, developing, the Sultan, Lincoln Park. They were never, they were never enough to distinguish the franchise by its own merits. So they're saying that they didn't put enough money into Medal of Honor. I said they're doing Battlefield 3. It's Battlefield 3 right now is popular stuff. And they did the same thing about terrorists and all that bullshit. And Lincoln Park. That's what I noticed. They put they, they put Lincoln Park in the Lincoln Park song is good, but they shouldn't like market it like this is just Lincoln Park. They're good, but that's gonna make me buy again at six dollars. If I like Lincoln Park, I'm just gonna buy their CD. You know, CDs like fifteen dollars, not not six dollars, and I buy both. I buy the I have the Lincoln Park, the newest one, Living Things, Living Things Home, and when I want it for the PC, I should have bought it for the for the console, it's, uh, it's easier. So, um, computers mostly grown up playing, they're not hitting the kids like in the console. Right. Despite its troubles, however, EA isn't ready to completely abandon Metal Honor just yet. Speaking in a recent post mortem interview with Rock Paper Scissors, Rock Paper Shotgun, EA Chief Creative Director Rich Bellyman. Asserted that despite January's discommissioning, Metal Honor is still a viable franchise for the publisher going forward. It 
just has a number of, shall we say, chances to occur. I will read the question and answer. They are Starting with the pop with the publisher itself, the current state of the series is in a referendum or modern military shooter, I would say, but rather a result of the expedient to execution. We don't think it's a general general problem. It's an execution problem. We don't think metal modern performance speaks to when it applies in the space against modern settings and or World War II or any of that. It's it's much more that we had something we shouldn't have done. We should have done better. According to Heli EA Heliman, EA has come to the realization that developing two distinct but similarly a pin shooter bear side by side just isn't sustainable. What we think right now is that for the next couple of years we can just have one great thing in that space, so we're choosing for it to be Battlefield. Yeah, that's of course the Battlefield's way popular and way better than Metal One. I do kind of like the kill streak perks that Metal One has, but it's not worth it. It's, uh, small maps, Call of Duty ish, and um, you're not a weirdo that plays every single day. You, you probably don't do that. But in Battlefield, you don't have to just um, do something. Because no matter what, what can you do? Just shoot. It's like Call of Duty. But in, in Battlefield, you can just have fun. You can just shoot. You can do a normal thing. You can use tank. You can fuck around with tanks. You can play that game mode. The, the tank supremacy. You just fuck around with tanks. You can play um, close quarters. Just shooting around really quick. And all that crap. Um, scavenger. Uh, gun game. Gun games. At the beginning, uh, it sucked. I, I fucking hate it. But if you were try hard, if you try your try hard more, on, you'll do good in gun game. Uh, really? As as resources became diluted, so did the talent pool. And Medal of Honor never acquired the right leadership to deliver on its full potential. I think a key part of this is having the right amount of high quality production talent. And we don't have the quality of leadership we needed to make Metal One great. We just have to get leadership aligned. We're blessed to have more titles than we can do well today. That's a good problem. Frankly, in the long term, we have to make sure we don't kill those products by trying to do them. And we can't do them well. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. So I was just saying that they definitely didn't spend enough time and money, and uh, apparently the leadership of Metal One wasn't good enough. So yeah, and so this is the ending. Not the ending of the Metal One story. Well, paper shotgun proceeded to state that is certain Metal One will return on the stream. Be right. Moved from the release invitation to the battlefield. Call it an EA vacuum for the product. Production time available. Talent and resources are indeed copious. Communities, there's no question of the potential not to mention the prestige the Medal of Honor brings to the table. Imagining a world where electronic art isn't the voting committed its color to Attempted killer, however, it is a great stretch for Battlefield 3 and Game DLC keeping the game relevant beyond its October 11 release. Or fighter by the present has already been written off the Battlefield 4. Anticipation for this fall, possibly the series next gen. Entry plot points clear. Guessing it's a long winter before Metal Water is done. Ever in. I don't know, that's a weird one. Renter, do, do you see a set future for the Metal Water franchise? Is there anything EA can do to reboot version 3? Yeah, Metal Water is never going to be as big as Metal Water. It's not going to be a Call of Duty killer. So yeah, that doesn't make sense. People just don't change their minds. Just out of nowhere. People don't just think, um, 
some bitches so I can been playing Call of Duty because they're sheep. I'm not saying it's a bad game, but it's not better than Battlefield and definitely not worth playing five, six hours a day. It's too fun. That's way too fucking much and it gets boring. Even Battlefield, any game I play or buy, it gets boring quick. I have to stop then go play again. Because it's boring and you can't, that's weird. If you just play every single fucking day, two, three hours of the same game. I did that with, um, with Black Ops, that's because I have friends sometimes, I play with them. But for the most part, I never do that. I never just play one game for a long time. So, that much thanks, write in the comments, and subscribe.